Hey folks, welcome back again. So this is Tuesday morning and I'm just doing some bee stuff like I normally do before I have to go to work. Uh, I usually start my day job at about 12.30 p.m. It takes me an hour to commute to work and I don't get out until about 9, so I don't get home until about 9.30. So anywho, I uh, just want to take you along for the ride and show you what's been going on. So again, really nothing much new with the with the status, no new swarms yet. Uh, here's a uh, good reminder, if you guys run irrigation systems, uh, I had to turn my irrigation system off because I forgot this backyard zone was on and sure enough the sprinkler head that I had right here was blast in this colony this morning. So luckily I came out here when I heard the thing click on and I turned it off quick enough. There was a little bit of water on the landing board so I just kind of dumped that out but they're, they're doing fine. Uh, we don't have any new swarms here yet, which is fine, because I really need to use that nuke box for this weekend. This small pocket swarm of bees here, you may have seen from my previous video, um, I do have all five frames inside. Uh, they basically have an old brood frame on the outer side, followed by a foundationless frame, followed by a frame that has foundation, and I have two more empty foundationless frames here. But I did not see the queen when I was in there. I pulled the frame out. Maybe the queen was on the mating flight. Don't know. What I do know is today I want to go get my uh, entrance excluder. Okay, and this is the colony that we removed the bees from underneath the backyard shed floor. And you'll see I still have that entrance excluder over it and man they are going like banshees. What I may do now is take that entrance excluder away because it's been about a week. This is Tuesday. I believe I put that on last week on Monday. So I'm going to take that entrance excluder off. And what I'll do is I'll use that excluder over at the, the bee tree, the, the queen that I just found in the clip. Um, I'll put this excluder over that colony and then let the queen out so she can run around. The reason why swarms are so great to raise is because they build like banshees. Okay, and you now may be able to see I remove the the little plastic entrance reducer piece. leave the bees with their smaller hole because it looks like they really did they're, they're going in and out a lot easier now I'm sure obviously with the excluder over the entrance it does restrict their movement in and out and you can see the little pollen crumbs these little pollen crumbs here fall off the bees legs so hopefully when I come back tonight or check them tomorrow morning they're still gonna be in there <laughs> again sometimes bees just rebel and they don't give a crap about your box or what you put in the box they'll leave when they want to um, but hopefully with this technique again keeping the queen in the clip for three days adding a little 
queen excluder over the entrance for a week that'll really force them to acclimate i am not opening this hive up uh again until probably at least another couple of weeks again today is tuesday so i'm not going to open it at all this week so maybe next weekend uh we might do a frame check uh this colony here they had the tie-dye box on it uh they're queenless so I just went through, I took off the uh, top honey super. Uh, the bottom deep is right there. Went through all the frames, no eggs, no larva, no brood, no queen, small population. So I'm gonna let the bees kind of clean out the frames a bit. Uh, and I'm just gonna let these, these girls kind of sit here. I may combine whatever bees are here with one of the other, um, uh, the, the bee tree that I'll relocate. So I might just do the old newspaper trick, introduce them and see how it goes. Okay, so here's how I got this uh, equipment set up. Again, there's really no queen. It's not a full colony. Empty brood comb on the bottom. We got some undrawn and really unused um, honey, honey frames. Uh, the few frames that are in there that are capped, I basically just left them in there. The bees will clean it out. And I got the lid propped up like this, just in case it rains when I'm at work. At least it'll be slanting out and the comb won't get all wet there. So. We'll see what happens. I'll use this again. Um, I'll set it up at a swarm trap at another yard and uh, I'll take you along for the ride.